to rely on your Weeblos packs, you're simply going to die. You have got to continue to recruit cubs and go recruit Boy Scouts. If you show them high adventure, if you show them excitement, if you show them camping and hiking and whitewater rafting, they're going to sign up. They're going to understand that the program is more than what they perceive it to be. This gives them an opportunity to find out a little more about Boy Scouts. They'll see some of the activities that they do and realize that it's not just sitting inside, listening to a, someone talk for an hour, hour and a half. It's more like getting outside and doing things. What you might do to start the excitement is set it up in the front of the school so the kids, when they first walk in from the buses, have a chance to see the campsite. Thanks for visiting our campsite. Uh, why don't you go on, if y'all wouldn't mind going over to the archery, she's got a few things to explain to y'all about that. Hey, how you doing? We start the rally with um, some general information um, where we have some interaction. The kids get to answer questions. So do you think you'll be able to come to our open house? Maybe. Then we explain kind of what we do. And after that, the kids have an opportunity to go um, to the different volunteers. So I, I've got to say that our best recruits are our volunteers. They're the ones that go out and sell our program. We also try to have some items that could be related to high venture, like climbing ropes and grand ponds or scuba equipment, kayaks or something that is going to catch their attention. Step on around. This is some great stuff. You know, one of the things we do in Boy Scouts, we have a cooking merit badge. So cooking is one of the things we have fun and we eat, we eat well when we scout, okay? Hello. Ms. Kellerman, this is John Rodriguez from Troop 100 of the Boy Scouts of America. Jordan attended a rally that we had at his elementary school the other day and it expressed some interest in participating in the Boy Scout program. And so we sent him home with an invitation for you and him to attend our open house at the community center. Did he show you that invitation? Jordan, yes. did you get a flyer at school the other day about Boy Scouts? Yes. Could you bring it? Sure. Thank you. Oh, here, he brought me the flyer. Do you think you and uh, Jordan will be able to attend? Well, that looks very interesting. Boy Scouts, it looks like, would give him a lot of opportunities for outdoor activities, and it looks like he could make quite a few new friends also. We'll look forward to coming. Thank you very much. Well, we look forward to seeing you there on uh, May the 11th at 7 p.m. at the Community Center. And if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call in the meantime. The ideal open house when Parents come, it should be inviting, there should be signage. The parents come in, you should have some display of what the troop has done over the past year. Start showing them pictures from what your troop has actually done and they see maybe the kids who are right there helping you make the presentation. In those pictures, doing that stuff that you're talking about, then it's real. It's not something that, well, maybe someday that'll happen. It'll happen next month if you go to the open house and sign up. The best recruiters we have for a scout troop are the boys themselves. They're there sharing the enthusiasm, sharing their program, explaining to other boys what scouting is all about and what they get to do. I try to schedule a camp out that is going to be at least within a week after the rally. It is very important to have a camp out activity right away so that the boys come on and go to a camp out with the rest of the troop right away. That gets a solid initiation in Boy Scouting for these guys. Growth strategies for successful troop rallies and open houses include appointing a membership chair to coordinate your rally and open house. You might want to team with other troops in this recruiting effort. Designate a location where boys gather for your rally. School, the mall, churches, or the site of your chartering organization are all likely possibilities. Target market the 5th and 6th graders in your area for your recruiting efforts. Utilize the High Adventure Survey at your rally. Up to 60% of boys who fill out the survey indicate a positive interest in joining a scout troop. Make that personal phone call between the rally and the open house. Our VSA marketing surveys indicate that the personal call is vital to the recruiting process. Boys are more likely to be recruited if they're simply asked to join a troop. Have an outdoor activity planned for the new boys in the troop as soon after the open house as possible. 